Hey there, so I just wanted to touch base on the uh, recreation policy reflection of learning. Uh, I think this is a great way to really, you know, start thinking about what we've learned from this class and really reflect on what was really sticking out for us as students in this classroom. Uh, I think we did a lot of great assignments throughout the whole semester. So I just want to quickly touch base on three of them that I really enjoyed and three that most like stood out to me to help me the most. So the first one I wanted to dive into was a values video assignment. Uh, easily my favorite assignment that we did this semester. I think it's a really, really strong exercise to truly understand our core values. And I think they're very important to know what our core values are, right? I had to narrow it down to three, but I could definitely go on and on about my personal core values. I have a lot. I think it's something you should really pride yourself on because it really is what makes you you. Um, perseverance, accountability, efficiency were just three that I touched base on. But, you know, family, pride, stuff like that really jumps out to me. It's something I could talk about forever. And, you know, I really think this is a special exercise because it gave us a deeper thinking towards stuff and really like broad perspective. When we did the exercise that last day of class, when we had to guess uh, Professor Tobar's and Professor Joel's values, you know, it really like says a lot about them. You know, like you're like trying to identify who these people are as human beings. And I think that gives us a better understanding of what, you know, we're taking away from our instructors and not even just them, but from our, you know, former classmates, like some friends I have in the class, you know, I'd really like, it, it's interesting to me to know what their core values are. Um, so yeah, it goes beyond the classroom. I think that this is an extremely important exercise because we get to learn about others and we get to learn about what makes them them. Also, when it comes to developing policies, you kind of want to keep that framework in the same sense, like, okay, you know, if I'm making a policy for inclusion, I'm probably going to include one of my core values being fairness. And so I think that kind of stuff goes hand in hand. So stuff I learn, you know, how I make decisions, what I want to achieve. I think the, you know, the accountability and efficiency core value go with the determination I have to be successful. And then it's also what makes us different. Like I touched base on earlier, you know, Professor Tobar, Professor Joel, they have different values and they want to achieve different things. They see things differently and it just makes us all different. That's the beauty of life. So that's number one. Number two was the policy development. You know, I'm going to be honest, this is one of the harder assignments I've had to do in college. And I think it's also one of the more beneficial assignments I've had to do in college. You know, nothing comes easy. And I think this is something that is going to come down the road for my career. Extremely, extremely important. Um, I want to be an athletic director someday. I think that's my main goal as a career aspiration. So, you know, policies are definitely going to play a big role into that. And it's not even just the athletic director, but sports management. You're going to be dealing with a lot of policies. You have to be, you know, you're reaching a wide range of people. So you really want to make sure that your policy development is strong. And you have a good sense of what you're doing. Um, the lecture about the persuasive communication is something that really helped me while developing this policy because, you know, you want it to all tie back in and you want to convince, not convey. That's something that really, really stuck out to me. The uh, intentionality, you know, you really want to like come across like this is for the better. This is we're doing this because it's going to help people. It's not going to help me. It's not going to help, you know, the individual. It's going to help everyone. But you also need to know your audience. Right. So if you're writing a policy back to the sports thing, if you're writing a policy for a panel of people that are fans of sports, they're obviously probably going to, you know, favor stuff that favors the sports side of things. Maybe it happens to do with, you know, food. They're going to favor the food side of things. If you're writing it about like a restaurant, I don't know, it's just things like that. You know, you're going to come back to it. And I think, uh, I think it's a really, really important and cool exercise because you really like, you have to know your audience. You have to know what you're doing you have to be very concise, very detailed, everything, every step is so detailed. And that's something I appreciated. And the grading of this is it was very detailed to the point. And I think that's just going to help us make it stronger in the long run. We do have to do this in our future careers. 
So some things that I learned from this, how to draft a policy, extremely important. I think in any PR team professional, it's going to help us down the road. The proper use for a policy. So when you're starting something new, when you, you know, new ideas are coming up and you want to, you know, implement something new, policy. And so for me and Keely, when we did our policy development, it was on the encampments in Hawaii. And I think that writing that policy, you know, it's, this comes back to the core values thing. Like we're not trying to target homeless people in terms of like, oh, like they're lesser life than us. We were like really trying to like implement, okay, let's make tourism better in Hawaii. But we also don't want to like, you know, ruin these people's lives that are homeless. We want to help them at the same time. So you got to keep that kind of stuff in mind. You want to, you know, my main thing in life has always been helping as many people as possible. You know, it, you can't please everyone. It's impossible to do that. But, you know, catering to everyone's needs, it's again, it's tough, but that's something that I really strive to do. Like, I really want to make everyone happy. And I know it's hard to do in certain situations, but something like this, a policy development is something you want to keep in the back of your head. You want everyone, you want all parties to be really, you know, affected, positively affected by it. And I think this is something that would really help with that, learning how to do the policy development. And also when you're doing this, the importance of the value framework going back to the first assignment, learning about all the values. Um, that is something that is going to just help you develop this policy when you keep your values in your back of your head when you're doing it. Um, last one is a policy in sports. Uh, definitely something I'm going to be dealing with, something that I really enjoy talking about because of you know my passion for sports and the sports management field. Um, you know, sports is a very powerful platform, both socially and politically, and it is a form of unity. There's a lot of people that come together because of sports. I think that it is very powerful in terms of the way that we really can bring, you know, two different sides of the spectrum together to, you know, pull for a sports team or participate in a sports game, whether that may be, you know, just a recreation soccer league or pulling for like a team in the FIFA World Cup to bring the whole country together. So the policy in sports, something that stood out to me was the FIFA. Um, we touched based on that in class. And I think that was a really strong example. Um, you know, one of the policies that they implemented this year in Qatar, which was very interesting to me, was the banning of alcohol beverages at the games. And that cost them a lot of money. It made a lot of people unhappy because, you know, you know, to be honest, alcohol kind of enhances sports sometimes when you're watching it. It makes it a little bit more fun, especially those crazy soccer games. You know, World Cup's one of the best events ever. So that's an interesting policy that they implemented this year. And, and it goes, you know, country by country. They have the right to say what they want to say. And another thing when we touch base, like, can we have these events in the third world countries? You know, I I personally, I said no. And I think that also goes back to the value framework is I think that we should be giving the best experience possible. And I don't think Qatar, in my opinion, my personal opinion, I don't think Qatar offers the best possible sports experience for some of these fans. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I know it's very controversial, um, but it's also, yeah, the importance of inclusion. That's something I've learned when it comes to policy and sports. You want everyone to be happy. It goes back to what I said previously, you know, it's hard to do, but in sports especially, um, I think policies that have to deal with recreation sports, they're like, oh, well, we have a mentally disabled kid. He's, you know, somewhat paralyzed. Can he still participate in sports? Yes. Um, here's a policy that we have, like, okay, maybe he he has to play, you know, five minutes out of the 45 minutes of the game. And it's it that's just how it comes down to it. There's I think it's super important to, you know, go back to your value framework, inclusion, super important. Um, so yeah couple things I learned from that is the inclusion impact policy has on certain events like FIFA and how I can incorporate this into my future career in sports um, as an athletic director at a recreation facility or high school or college, whatever that may be. Um, I think this is going to be super important because it's something that we're going to need to draft, something we're going to need to go over in detail. And so knowing how to do the policy development with tied into the sports, I think it's going to be super huge. And yeah, so that's that's three things that I really, really enjoyed learning about in this class. I could take away, you know, 10 more things. This video could be 20 minutes long. I really enjoyed talking about this. Really, really enjoyed this class. Like I said, 
Um, definitely one of the more informational and career, you know, it's going to be super beneficial for my career. I think it was one of the more important classes I've taken. Really appreciated the way it was formatted. Really appreciated the feedback that both Professor Tobar and Professor Joel gave us, you know, very tough graders, but they want you to get better. That's, that's the point of it. They're, they're doing it because they want you to improve. They know you can improve and they, they expect the best. And I really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, thanks again.